In this video, we're going to look at how to configure Visual Studio Code to use Oh My Posh uh, as the engine for the prompt inside the terminal within Visual Studio Code. So um, the first step is obviously installing uh, Oh My Posh. I'm running Windows, so what I'm going to actually use is scoop install to actually install the Oh My Posh uh, executable. So this is actually directly from the Oh My Posh documentation, and I just copy and pasted it here. So Scoop is going to go out, uh, install Oh My Posh, and uh, put it on my path. So once Oh My Posh is installed, you should be able to run it as um, a command inside your terminal. And you can see here that it provides some information about uh, the Oh My Posh arguments and command line parameters that you can pass in. The next step is actually to install a nerd font, because most Oh My Posh configurations use special icons inside these fonts. And you'll have icons for like Git and branches and that kind of thing. So um, one thing to note when installing a font is that the Visual Studio terminal requires a monospace font. So you might have to mess around with the fonts a little bit to find the correct font. So in this example, what I'm actually going to do is use a font I know has a um, pretty much a monospace uh, font installed, and that is this uh, Meslo font. So I'm going to just download that, and it's going to actually install that font into my uh, font directory on Windows. And you'll see here that I'm actually running it as administrator. Uh, you have to do that in order to install fonts um, in Windows. So uh, just make sure you elevate your command prompt before running uh, the font install command. So now if I actually go into my fonts directory here, or my fonts folder inside control panel, I can actually search for that Meslo font. And you can see that this is the actual name of the font. It's Meslo uh, LGSNFM. So now what I am going to do is I am going to configure all my posh to start up when um, when my uh, terminal starts. And what you can actually do is configure that in a couple different ways. Um, first, you can load your configuration directly from disk. So I would run um, oh my posh init pwsh in this case, and then use a local configuration. Um, you can also use a configuration that is at a URL. So in this case, it's loading it from uh, the GitHub uh, repository for oh my posh. I'll just copy that particular configuration and use it in, on my machine. So what I need to do is actually create a uh, PowerShell profile to do this. And um, the PowerShell profile is stored in this location on my machine. You can just do dollar sign profile on any PowerShell prompt um, to see that uh, your er, um, directory path. So I'm going to do this code profile to actually open this file in Visual Studio Code. In my case, this file does not exist. So what I'm going to do is. Um, it creates the file for me. I can copy and paste this in here, and then I can save that value. Um, so now I have my PowerShell profile set up. So when I open a new terminal, what's going to happen is it's actually going to run Oh My Posh. But you can see here, I had my um, Visual Studio Code instance open when I installed Oh My Posh. So I'll just close and reopen that. And it's actually going to uh, start my PWSH process and run Oh My Posh. And now you can see that I have some customization going on. There's some colors and stuff. Uh, but we have these um, icons that are just question marks. And that's where the nerd font comes into play. So I haven't actually configured my nerd font. Um, and I can do that by uh, using the settings inside Visual Studio Code. So if you hit Control Shift P, you can say Open Settings or User Settings JSON. And it's going to open this uh, JSON file where I can actually enter my um, font settings. So there's a couple of different ways to configure fonts inside Visual Studio Code. Uh, first would be the editor font. So if I were to do something like uh, this, uh, it's actually going to set the editor font to Cascadia code. And when I do that, you're going to see that my terminal gets all messed up because it's saying that you know we need to use a monospace font. And now it's like looking all weird. Um, it will actually update my editor to use Cascadia code. But if I want to use a different font um, for my terminal, what I can do there is actually use uh, the terminal integrated font family and set that to the font name that I actually um, installed. So now when I save this, you can see that my uh, terminal updates. And now I have these nice icons. And we don't have weird spacing and 
and in between all the characters and stuff like that. So this is actually working as expected now. So you can see I have a little folder icon, I have a little GitHub icon and a branch icon. Um, and I can you know, customize to my heart's content now and it's gonna display correctly. One thing you're gonna notice though is if you go to the PowerShell extension is it, it doesn't have my um, updated font uh, or uh, my prompts. So the reason is, is because the profile is actually different for the PowerShell extension. So if you wanna actually customize that profile, you need to create uh, another profile.ps1 file. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Um, I'll just do code profile again open this new file, um, copy and paste this in here. Obviously you could have like a single uh, PS1 file that you call um, in both profile places. Um, but in this case, I am just going to uh, configure it the same with by copy and pasting it. So now I'll save that. I can actually exit this. It's gonna throw up a bunch of errors. I'll say yes to restart it. And now it's actually gonna run that profile. And you can see that uh, it has my proper prompt and um, the nerd font is being used appropriately because I have all the icons. One thing to note is uh, because we customized um, because we customized the general PowerShell profile, that's gonna affect your uh, terminal and that kind of thing. So you'll also have to update your terminal to use the nerd fonts, otherwise you're gonna have this problem as well. So I have another video on how to update Windows Terminal to use nerd fonts and oh my posh. So definitely check that out if you want to take that extra step of making sure um, your Windows Terminal is updated as well.